Hi, this is Chef Rachel with the Chef's Log Ship Life. Uh, I'm about to head out for my first contract with uh, SIU, the Seafarers International Union. I will be on a the Subcom Dependable, which is a ship that lays telecommunication. <laughs> and these are some of the things that I'm packing for the trip. Uh, hopefully, I'm uh, packing well. <laughs> Um, the ship that I'm on is going to be much larger than the, than the ATB. I will be feeding about 50 people a day. We lay telecommunication cables on the bottom of the ocean. So there's a dive team and a medical team in addition to deck and engine and the galley. The galley is also going to be our steward department, which is also going to be much larger on this ship. Uh, there will be a chief steward who will be my boss. Then it'll be me, chief cook, and then there will be a second cook and then three steward assistants who will be serving the food, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, so um, these are some of the things that in my past experience on the ATB, I think I'm gonna need. So we have pants, I've got scrubs, basically chef scrubs. So I've got six pairs of black pants. I've got a couple of pairs of leggings as well. I've got hats and hair coverings for my hair. I went down to Goodwill and got some t-shirts that I'll be able to just kind of throw away when I'm done. I've got a switch and a charger. Make sure you have at least two chargers for your phone if you plan on listening to music in your work area. I've got earbuds. It's very important that you have these both for your laptop, video games, and your um, phone. That way you can enjoy whatever you want to enjoy and not disturb your, your neighbors and your coworkers who will be trying to sleep for the most part if they're in their rooms. I've got a knife bag coming with me as well. And I will be bringing a basic knife set, including uh, peelers, you know, the basics, plus the thermometer, trying to keep everybody safe, you know what I mean? We have undershirts here. It's really good to just have some tank tops and things that you can sleep in, you can wear under your clothing. I'm bringing chef jackets. I'm bringing like six of them. I don't know if it's something that they are going to require me to wear. So that'll be, um, that'll be to, de to be determined. Make sure you bring a bag for your dirty clothes. You're going to have to carry them from your room down, your room back. You don't want something hard. It's hard to s store in our tiny, tiny rooms. You want something that's very, very portable. I like to bring a little bag. This helps me uh, move things in and out of dry storage to the galley. Um, I have many, you know, at least seven pairs of underwear, at least seven pairs of socks. I bring compression socks as well, just in case, and maybe for the kitchen. You want a change of seven of everything because that way you only have to do laundry once a week. I've got shower shoes, work shoes, and steel toe boots. You are gonna need steel toe boots uh, on the ship. You'll have, even if you're in the steward department and you don't have to wear them, for work, you still will have to wear them for drills. I've got a pair of shorts, which I doubt I'll wear, and some jeans. So I've got a couple pairs of jeans. A light jacket is also necessary. Uh, this is the bag that I ended up with. It is rolling, so it does have wheels, but it also um, has, is you can make it into a backpack. It's very difficult to uh, roll a suitcase across the deck when you get on the ship. Uh, there will be many obstacles in your way, including deck lines, equipment, uh, tools. So you really need to be able to pick your bag up and carry it. So if you have two or three bags, you're going to find it very, very difficult, very difficult to do. All right. Uh, when you are packing your toiletries for the ship, you have to keep in mind that you will be unable to purchase anything for two or three months. So anything that you, you know, need quite a bit of, you need to make sure that you bring it with you. So for ladies, this means you're gonna need to bring um, tampons, <laughs> stuff like that. For men, you are gonna need to shave. Um, for the most part, the personal protective equipment that we use on the ships is a, has to cover your face, and has to fit really snugly onto your face. So they will um, often not want you to have a beard or have um, facial hair around here. You can have a mustache, but not around here because you have to be fit for your, for your scuba. So here are some of the other items that um, you may need. So you cannot flush these down the toilet. You have to make sure that they go into the garbage, but they are useful. Anything that you need to hold your hair up. 
I bring a little sewing kit and a small first aid kit, but be aware that they will have a much more elaborate first aid kit generally on the ship. Um, I do bring razors, uh, toothpaste and toothbrush. Uh, I bring Sharpies because I need them. Any makeup that you're gonna use. Um, bring at least two or three things of deodorant because you will need them. Anything that you use every day, you're gonna use quite a bit of it in over the course of three or four months. I like to bring a nice little heavy duty speaker because I like to listen to music in the kitchen. Um, I like my little scrubby, any kind of pain medication you think you're gonna need. I have some things to just make food nice for the for the crew when I'm on there too. These are small, you don't wanna bring anything too big, but if you have something little like that, you can bring it. I bring lots of reading glasses because I'm definitely gonna break them or lose them or misplace them. So I, um, I will bring at least a few of those. So these are just a few of the items that you will need. What I didn't show is I will be bringing my laptop, my laptop charger and a hard drive. The hard drive will have, you know, a bunch of movies on it, documentaries. I'm thinking I'm gonna watch The Last of Us finally on the ship if I have time. I also have a book that I'm bringing and obviously, as you saw before, my Switch. So your downtime is your downtime on the ship and you really can kind of do whatever you want, but you may have a roommate, so you need to be conscious of that. You need to bring headphones, make sure that you're not disturbing people when they're trying to sleep. Um, but yeah, that's about it. You know, you want to bring enough stuff so you won't need to bring, um, detergent, laundry detergent. They will have that on the ship. Uh, you won't need to bring sheets and blankets. A lot of people do. I think it's a little silly. It takes up a lot of space in your luggage and it isn't really something that you need. The ones on the ship are fine. Um, also, you want to make sure that you are bringing large sizes of shampoo and uh, conditioner like these. So yeah, you definitely want like jumbo sizes. It's got to last you a while. I also highly recommend that you bring a quality pair of earplugs on the ship with you. You don't know what is going to be happening around your room. You could be right over engines. You could be next to a very high traffic area where doors are closing and shutting all the time. So you just really want to make sure that you have a good pair of earplugs so that you can uh, get some sleep when you need it. All right. Alrighty, so uh, wish me luck. I will uh, be back in early August and hopefully I'll have another video to share about the experience and whether these items were good items to bring or, uh, or unnecessary. So thank you for watching this video and I hope that if you're getting started in your own career as a Merchant Mariner that it's helpful for you. Have a great day.